Are we going? It's an all too common scenario. As an air raid siren sounds, journalists at the Kiev Independent gather their belongings and relocate to a shelter, an underground bar close to their newsroom. Founded by journalists from the Kyiv Post who wanted greater independence, the media outlet launched just three months before Russia's invasion. Since then, the English-language website has quickly become a leading voice on the war in Ukraine. Its young team keeps the world focused on Ukraine, both at home and abroad. It's not easy to cover any war, but especially so when it's a war that is in your country and you're not just a journalist who um, arrives on the scene and then goes home to safety, but there's no safety for you, there's no safety for your family. Um, and it's, uh, it's quite different for us, for journalists who cover the war while actually, you know, living through it. No story is worth a human life. And Rodenko sometimes holds her team back to make sure they don't take unnecessary risks. Her highest priority, their physical and emotional safety. And on the emotional side, it's more difficult. It's, uh, um, you know, you can't, there are no, I don't think there are textbooks for uh, mentioning a team like this in the time like this. And, uh, well, that's uh, part of our emotional support program, a dog in the office. Um, I mean, we're all human, we're all um, just trying to get through, through all of it the best way we can, and at the same time, uh, do the best journalist, journalism we can for our audience. Denis Krasnikov is a senior editor for the Kyiv Independent, covering the war while his mother remains in the heavily shelled city, the Parisia. The work helps Krasnikov to hold on. Yeah, I think, um, I think our work is a kind of a, a therapy for us. Originally from France, reporter Alex Query says Ukraine has become a second home. Because it doesn't really make sense for me to come back to France, because I feel my duty as a journalist here. And, you know, well, not only towards Kiev Independent, but towards just generally this country and what's happening. The team has created a credible Ukrainian voice abroad, but a lot of work remains to be done. We were set up to be the voice of Ukraine. That's why we started the Kiev Independent. We have to talk more and more to our international colleagues and partners explaining things that, that often seem obvious to us, but are not obvious to them. Um, and I think this is a big part of our mission. Recently we launched the section explaining Ukraine that is exactly about that, adding the context to what is happening in the country. Within its first year, the Kyiv independence fight for editorial independence has transformed into a greater fight to protect Ukraine's democratic ideals. Anna Chernikova for VOA News, Kyiv, Ukraine.